Yo, what's going on guys? Intel here. Welcome back to the channel and it's been a while since we've been on this base and working on our best shop in lumber. And you know, it's not the best shop in lumber if we don't work on it. So I just placed these down and I forgot to start recording. So, you know, that's one last thing we're going to have to do. But the idea is to get these down and then place uh, probably like one by four slopes on the top. To kind of give them that effect. Just looking nice. We're going to use brown wood and then we might do the slopes in gold wood, I think. But yeah, I'm going to time lapse right here just to chop this wood and fill up all those and I'll see you guys after it. Alright guys, so we filled up all those, looking pretty good. I think the brown kind of offsets the spook really nicely, so happy we could do that. And now we gotta go grab our slopes that we just bought. We actually have a lot, I don't know what I want to use, nothing like that. I feel like that's a little like, too much, you know? But maybe the two fourths, I did say one fourth at the beginning of the video, I think. But let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks great. It goes up just the same height as the axes, a little bit above them. I think that looks really good. And keep in mind guys, we are going for the best shop. That's the that's the goal. So anything I can do just to add in the extra little like bonus points um, is definitely something I'm going to do. And if you guys have any ideas for this shop, definitely leave them down in the comments. And you guys have been smashing this series, guys. Like you love it. Um, but I want to try to get like, let's go for a hundred likes, guys. I think that's the biggest like goal I've ever asked for. But if we could get a hundred likes on this video, oh, I'd be so happy, guys. And actually, if we get a hundred likes, I will do a giveaway like in within the week all right so yeah um and i think i'm gonna time lapse again um and fill up all of these wedges so yeah Alright guys, so I'm going to end off the time lapse right there, hopefully you guys enjoyed the music, and check it out, we had the exact amount of wood, I'm pretty sure we to do all these, look at that, I think that looks great, uh, it kind of reminds me of like a, a Halloween like candy cane thing or something like that, and we might put something underneath here, either neon wires on some walls, or, I don't know, it could be anything I guess, maybe even presents, but, next, I want to build a little thing out of brown wood, and put it in this back corner because this is all empty and it doesn't look like amazing <laughs> so let's try to build anything nice back here kind of like a little corner shelf uh, I think I'll go one here one here and then one um, right right on the gap I think is what's gonna look good does that look good I don't know they're all they're all on the wall. Say if I'm back here. 
put like some white neons. Okay, guys, I think that looks great, actually. I'm gonna keep that like that, and we are going to chop up this. I'm not gonna time lapse it, guys, because, you know, we don't need to have 20 time lapses in a video, or three, you know, either way it goes. But I had to blacklist all those guys because they just kept like walking right in front of me when I was trying to chop the wood and it was like, bruh, please let me just chop some wood. That'd be great. It would be great. It would help me out actually. You know what I mean? Let the, let the videos get done. But yeah. Oh, I, not the blueprints. That's not what I wanted. That is not. Yes, that's enough. Okay. I didn't know if that was going to be quite enough wood. But you know, your boy, he, he's thinking outside the box. You don't even know. Oh, gee, I, okay. Wait. <laughs> Get centered again. Hold on. And guys, there is no face cam in this video, which you probably have noticed by now, and that is because it's, like, really late. It is 12 at night, and, you know, people are sleeping, and it's dark, and you need lighting for a green screen. So, yeah, that's that's why there's no face cam. Um, I forgot where I was going with it for a second. And I don't think I have any white neons, so that might be a next episode, guys. I'm gonna glitch them into the wall. It's gonna look so cool. You just trust me on that. But on this episode, we can definitely put a couple things on the shelf to kind of make it seem like there's not just so much space in here, which there is right now. And when I get more wood, I'm actually thinking about chopping it up before we start next episode. And when I get more wood, we should be GG and be able to start building like present showcases, get glass doors, and do all kinds of stuff like that. And I think it'll look pretty sweet, um, but I gotta don't know if that's the same amount of space in between, so we're about to figure that out. Let's just take this, I guess. Um, Alright, so there's just one in between, and then this one... Come on, go, please. Okay, so the top shelf is a little bit smaller than the bottom shelf, so I actually think I want to make both of them a little smaller. Maybe if I go like right here and come on thank you and this is all just kind of guesstimating size I'm thinking like that I think that looks a lot better uh, the top one still looks a little low maybe I should put that up one more just to see come on bruh oh 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 guys look at this so the admin in my chat Cassandra she got me a, a $10 Roblox card thingy, and look, it, it gave me fishes, like around my head. It, I got fishes. I don't know, don't know exactly how I got them. I didn't like buy them. It was just if you get a, a GameStop gift card or something, it gives you fishes. So I was like, thanks, dude. Thanks for the fish. All right, so eyeball top shelf priority. You know, actually, I think middle shelf. I think it would look pretty good right there. So we're gonna do that. Boom. Let's see, we got a, what do we have out here? Okay, we got some candy cane presents. Yeah, let's, let's put a candy cane present up there. And I think a fire present because, oh, actually we'll do the, the axe presents on one shelf. I think we can make them, make it work. Oh, come on, please. Oh wait, no, that actually looks really good if I just have one on there. And, cause I don't wanna like overfill the shelves. And I don't think I want to overthink it, so we're going to just do a new pet on the top. Just like this. Yeah. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. We also got our axe display. Now guys, if you have any ideas on how to make this look a little bit better, go ahead and let me know. Of course, one of the ideas I have straight away is to get more axes, so it's actually filled up. And this is not even at all, so let's try to adjust those. I think if we just like tap them like this it'll fix them so let me try go shoo okay yeah that that's not working <laughs> I think it's this axe right here all right okay let's just slide you forward dude oh wait go down come on oh oh okay that's weird it won't, um, it won't just, it doesn't fit right here. It doesn't at all. What the? I'm confused. A little bit. Let me try to pick it up by the handle. 
There's plenty of space. Like, the hitbox around the axe must be a lot bigger than I thought it was. Alright, we will just put it on another shelf. We'll put it right here if it fits. Come on. Bruh, 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 bruh. And... Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. So we're just going to hold it for now. Alright guys, but that is going to wrap up this episode. If you did enjoy, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been Intel. Peace.